Hey guys, Sam Burr here, welcome back to Sammy Wasta. In today's video, we're finally going to be filling in this area here. It's been looking at me, it's been staring at me hardcore, it's been saying, do me, do me, and finally, I'm gonna do you, so get ready for that. So this area, it is right next to the existing tourist area, which you can see on the left there, which is the island. So we're going to be filling in basically the little part where the highway goes underneath, and on, on top of that, it's going to be a lot of residential, a few little shops, and we're also going to be doing a few little areas along the shoreline as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so I can admit that I've been putting off this area for so long simply because the terrain is, it's quite hilly. It's, it's kind of a little bit hard to work with. So you can see even just like right now, it's quite hilly. Um, there's a lot of little areas that you can work with, which makes it interesting, I suppose, but it's, it was challenging. It took probably like three hours to do this one little area just because of the terrain stuff like that. We're going to be working on all of these elevated areas and one little bit that is right on the shore but other than that it's going to be left blank because obviously in the next video or another video uh, all of the there's going to be more touristy stuff in this area so I just wanted to fill this in with residential just because. So this part right here I use the two lane avenue road there just to kind of make like a u-turn cul-de-sac type thing and this part here, I know the train station is really, really small. And yes, that does happen because like when I used to catch the train from the Gold Coast to my mum's house, the train stations were always so small that the announcer was like, hey guys, you need to exit from the first or second carriage only because the other carriages don't go anywhere. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for here. It's only a small stop. We have, we have a lot of parking lots here. Um, so I guess they could ride this all the way into the city. Actually, this one goes all the way from the cruise ship terminal all the way to the space elevator, all the way on the other side of the map. So it's a pretty good one if you want to go sightseeing around the whole city. Um, and then, so this right here is actually a seawall, but I, I thought it's probably not very good to put some houses right above it. So we're going to leave that as a bit of a, a viewpoint. So it's just going to be basically open grass, maybe a few seats later on. And there's going to be houses on the other side, but on the actual elevated part there, I'm just going to leave it. And it actually turns out pretty good. It looks good. It's a nice little viewpoint of the whole city and the harbour. And these, these are just the generic tunnels, I think. So I just wanted to hide the entry point for where the trains come out of the ground. I believe I had to lower it right down really low because I didn't like when you put it on, you'll see that it overlaps there. So I had to put it right down really low, but we don't really see that. So it doesn't really matter. So again, I'm just doing the little cul-de-sac. It's not really a cul-de-sac and I don't think I even use it, but it doesn't really matter. So the tricky thing for this was to get a road design that wasn't weird. You know what I mean? It wasn't too wonky, it wasn't too steep. And that's why it, it does curve all the way up very, very slowly. It takes a while for them to probably drive up there. Probably would take even longer if you're going to walk all the way through. So I do end up putting in some pathways for some of it. Probably, I probably should have put more, but it might look a little bit too much if I put pathways all the way through it. So I didn't do that. So this part here, I put the one way roads because I like that they're basically half the size of the normal road. So it gives it a more compact look. Since we are limited for space anyway, we, it's probably better to use those smaller roads anyway. This point right here, this is going to be the little corner shop area. So I thought since we're all the way up, it's going to be annoying if they have to drive all the way down and just to go to get some shops or go to the corner store. So it's a good little, good little thing just to have just some shops. Now these shops are from the, I think it's the King Leno pack it, it came out with the campus dlc so it's pretty new and i actually love these because the other vanilla shops in the game i don't really like them they they seem a little bit out of place so i, I like using those because they're just simple they're small they're low and they fit in well with a lot of areas now those other buildings that i put right there uh, actually i delete those where those cube houses are on the corner that actually becomes a Another, another little lookout spot which you'll see in a minute and then what I'm putting down there is a little primary school so just a very small one just for this little area.
So these are the cube houses. I use these a lot throughout this whole city. I believe they're kind of Russian-y, but I like those because they have a little backyard. They have fences and trees and stuff like that. I also use some of these, what are these, like apartments, flat type things. Uh, there's also going to be some fancy houses right at the top. There's going to be a lot of the European pack, which is another one I always use. I always mention it. It's on the Steam Workshop. These ones right here, I think it's like three or four dollars to buy it. Really good. I love it because it has the backyard. It has hedges, things like that. Really easy to put in everywhere. There's a huge variety of them. And yeah, I just really like using those. <laughs> I, know, I know I always say that, but they, they fit pretty good. Just a little hedge here. Don't want them to fall off because that is pretty steep. Like, yeah, look at that. Look how steep it is right there. And actually, once I put that hedge in, it made it more cozy because it just keeps it all nice and neat. Um, this part right here, we have that existing pathway. Now, this is the start of the pathway network. So it connects to the road there. There's not really much traffic there. Anyway, even when it's more built up, it's not busy, so it's fine if they walk across. And then the pathway continues up this road, goes past the train station, then up onto the next level. And then I also decided to put another one over here, but we don't detail this area over here, so just forget about that area for now. Okay, so this area here, I wanted to make a bit of a, a bit of a distance between the highway because obviously the highway is going to create noise. You don't always want to live right next to a highway, right? So there's the, the large hedge and then there's the four lane road. And then it's also going to be another hedge with a lining of trees. So I wanted to really set back the, the noise from the residential area here because we don't really have much, we don't have much space. So we have to really work with what we have and keep it neat. Also, you might be thinking, what are we doing all the way up here? Well, we're not building houses up here. This is going to be a lookout point. It's actually going to be a cable car thing, but you'll see more of that towards the end. You'll get a ride on that and it looks really cool. The lookout is really great. Uh, I end up putting in a lot of parking up there and honestly, it's probably one of the best lookout spots in the whole city besides the one way up on the mountain. And then of course, the higher we get, the more fancy the houses are. So all of these houses up here, these are five, like level five. So basically the most fanciest of fanciest house houses. And basically all of these up here, they have really great views. Even if they don't have direct views, they can look out onto the road and then look down the road and they can see basically the whole city or they can see the whole harbor or mountains. It's really, really nice. You'll see more of that at the end, but it, it's really nice. Basically all of these areas have really great views. I'm kind of jealous. Okay, so again, we're going to be using the small road there just because it makes it more compact. We don't have a lot of room. So using those small roads, roads is going to be quite beneficial. And basically in this part here, I put in a lot of the older style buildings because my thinking was, like back in the old, old days, this area was maybe like one of the first little settlements along this side of the harbor, which is why there's a lot of older buildings. And then the more they went up the hill, obviously more time progressed. And then there's more modern buildings. So you can see there's all of these older style cube buildings. They're called cube on the workshop if you want them. And I think they're in their mods, my mods and asset list if you want them as well. Yeah, I just really like those. I really like those because you can see they've got hedges in the backyard. They've got, they've even got clotheslines and like tables and things like that. And they just fit in really easily. They're colorful. Yeah, it looks good. And then just to wrap up here, these are actually commercial. So they were residential. I converted it through the Rico mod into commercial. Sneaky, <laughs> sneaky me. And yeah, I thought, what else should we put here? Probably commercial is best, right? Because it's right on the roundabout and it's also probably going to get a little bit busy. I wonder how the the residential buildings are going to go in the future when this area becomes a really popular tourist hub. So mm, hopefully they don't get too bothered by all of the road traffic because usually I try not to put residential on busy roads, but in this case I did. I just wanted to see and also do something a little bit different. So let's skip to the end. That's enough blabbering on. Let's go have a look at the end products. All right, you guys. So here's the end product. I don't have a name for this area yet. I think it's just one of the, the, the generic names for the area, but I think it looks really good. I tried to make it really lush and 
yeah, it kind of is quite lush. So in the next episode, the one right after this, I'm going to be doing a short tutorial video for how to detail. So my detailing, it isn't like other people on YouTube. So my detailing is very basic, but it is quite... I'm not trying to like sound up myself, but it is quite good. It looks realistic from a distance. Um, if you zoom in, obviously then you start to see things, but generally we don't really look at everything close up, right? So we see everything from a distance, which is what I'm going to be talking about in the next video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And also don't forget to leave a suggestion for other things that I should do in the city. We're kind of getting towards the end of semi stock, I think, but we still have a lot of areas left that we can work on. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.